Hi Aries, how's it going? And welcome to your mid-July general reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in an Aries, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Aries, don't forget about the love reading. That's where we connect with the other person that you're dealing with in love, in romance, or in relationships with right now. That love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to find out to see who won the pick a card, all right? Aries, let's get right into it. Again, this is your general reading for mid-July. We've got three more. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Aries? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And y'all keep in mind, this is, this is a general reading. Not every single thing or every message is going to apply or resonate. So just take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, my loves. We've got the moon card at the bottom of the deck. Okay, some of you could be connecting with a Pisces um, or a Cancer. We are in Cancer season. So this is definitely relevant to now. Also, we have a new moon in Cancer in a couple days on the 9th or 10th of July, depending on where you're at. So anyways, I do feel like there's a lot of release, releasing of emotions right now. Um, just be If you're feeling very emotional, this is probably why, okay? Um, so yeah, I just feel like a lot of just deep emotional type of energy going on right now. All right, what is going on with Aries? What is the current situation? Nice, y'all have the Six of Swords. Beautiful, that is coming out of conflict. That is maybe some travel for some of you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Beautiful with the Six of Cups. Um, traveling with family, traveling to see family, a little getaway, a little clearing of the mind. I need to get out of there kind of vibe. Beautiful. What's crossing? What's crossing Aries? Beautiful. Empress energy, okay? Um, divine feminine, gorgeous. What's Aries' true focus? Four of Cups. You're asking, my, you're asking yourself why you're not fully feeling it in some area. There's something going on here emotionally where you're just you feel like you're missing out on something. What's been in the uh, recent past for Aries? Okay, Ten of Swords. What's crowning Aries? Uh, Knight of Pentacles. Interesting. The Knight of Pentacles was very much on my brain, on my mind, a lot this morning. Like when I was preparing and meditating and like getting myself ready and everything. I kept thinking about all the knights, but the Knight, Knight of Pentacles in general. That's going to be very significant. This has been a very slow and go process for sure. And we're going to clarify and go deeper in just a second. Let me just get the rest of the cards out. What's in the near future for Aries? Chariot, beautiful, moving on. I feel like it's time to move on. You're figuring out it's time to move on. What's Aries' true power? They just wanted to come right out. The Fool card, which is another one of your cards, Aries, okay? It's uh, taking that leap of faith. It's the beginning, okay? Ace of Wands, you're definitely feeling um, a sense of freedom or like you need a sense of freedom. I want to get away from that. I need a break. That kind of vibe here for sure, okay? Um, what's hidden from Aries right now? Eight of Wands, some type of communication, really quick communication, Hopes and fears. So there's the moon. There's the moon again in your hopes and fears. Okay, okay. Let's get the outcome. Seven of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords. Double sevens in your outcome. That is an, a sign to step back. Step back. World card energy at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so this is an out with the old and with the new. In the recent past, very clear areas that you've ended something. Out with the old. Um, the, the world card is about closing a cycle, closing something off, ending something, ten of swords. So I do see that you've ended something or or, or, um, or at least let go of something. It doesn't have to be like, I ended this, but 
what what I should say better than ending is letting go. You've let go of something. Ten of Swords is you've surrendered, especially with the mental energy. Um, it's kind of like that energy. I kind of talked about this a little bit in someone else's reading. Maybe Capricorn? I can't remember. It's kind of like this energy of... If something, if anything... <coughs> If anything or anyone comes to you with anything that involves conflict, a fight, you're just like, no, no, I don't want to fight. I don't want to argue. Like, nope, it's just yours. Fine. You win. I don't care. Just no. Like, you don't even want to pick it up if it involves any kind of conflict for you. You go, fine. You win. I don't care. You win. That's great. There's something about that energy where you're just surrendering letting something go so that so that we can Aries there's a new beginning here there's a whole new life and this is the last card in the major arcana number 21 and this is the very beginning it's not even number one it's zero it's it's a fresh a literally fresh clean slate fresh clean start that you're initiating that you're taking a risk a leap of faith in the outcome you're going to self-doubt the crap out of yourself you've been planning this for a long time seven of pentacles whatever this is but you just as much as you're making plans, you'll just as quickly get in your way, right? There, j there's just as many swords to match as many plans as you've made. There's just as many reasons to not do something as a reason that you've already planted that seed for. I hope, I, I hope I'm not losing you on that. There's, there's an undeniable, I'm not gonna give up on the, whatever this is with your knight of pentacles and your crowning energy because you're unstoppable in the near future chariot you're you're finding a way to move on to move out of this ten of swords whatever has been holding you back whatever you've been overthinking about too much you have already let it go you don't love it with the four of cups you don't love that you don't love it there's a little bit of FOMO here. Some of you are definitely uh, resonating. I definitely feel like a little bit, a couple of these messages are a little bit um, from the Capricorn reading too. Some of you for dealing with a Capricorn, you might want to go check that out or have a lot of Capricorn placements. Okay, um, let's break this down a little bit further because what's crossing you right now, Aries, is the Empress, which is, this is an energy that either helps you or hinders you. Um, you and the Empress energy, you are the Empress. Even for the guys watching, this is you and your divine feminine energy. So you know that it's time for you to receive and not have to be in an emperor energy and push, push, push and be an emperor is also your card, but I'm taking that as divine masculine versus divine feminine. Like you're in a position where you're not, I don't want to plan anymore. I don't want to push anymore. I just want to let go and let bygones be bygones, right? Like why I'm hearing, why can't we all just get along? <laughs> like that kind of vibe here. Let's look at your six of swords. This is definitely a great way to start the reading with the Six of Swords. Sorry, something's in my eye now. Um, come on. But I, I am picking up for a lot of you. It's like a quick trip, vacation, like you and the kids, you and the partner, just like, I need to get away. <laughs> um, but let's break it down a little bit more. But I feel like in this refreshing Six of Swords energy, regardless, that's where you get this leap of faith. That's where you get this confidence of like, because you've cleared your mind, you give yourself a little bit of a, a, a weekend or a vacation or a getaway kind of energy. In that space where you're freed, where you free yourself, that's when you'll strike and take this full energy. That's when you'll take on something else. That's when you'll take a leap of faith here. Let's break it all down. Why is the Six of Swords here for Aries? Three of Cups. lovers and the star card uh gemini and aquarius energy here for sure ace of wands um you're definitely moving towards um you're coming out of conflict in some situation and you're moving into this energy this is what you're going towards because you you know it you're moving towards a three of cups lovers card star card energy something to celebrate friends reunion energy for some this is a new partner this is a new divinely guided person or situation with the lover's card 
tied to the star card is, a, is this was destined. This was written in the stars. Um, so yeah, for some of you also, I feel like even I'm feeling like a little girl's getaway or guy's getaway or like whatever, three of cups of like, you're with your amigos, you're with your amigas, you're with your friends, your homies, whatever. And it's like, we're going to just take a little weekend trip, whatever. Boom. You meet the person, you meet someone divinely meant for you, for some of you. That's what I'm picking up. And you're not going to expect it because in this deck, I'm not going to pick it up again because it'll like ruin my little spread here. But the six of swords in this deck, it's a little dark. So it's like, you don't really know. For some of you, you might be taking a trip or something like that. And you're like, oh, I gotta be in the car with Karen and so and so and so and so and da 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 da. But like the beach is supposed to be great. Like we'll just go. And when, like, I feel like some of you, you're not excited about going somewhere. Even if you're not taking a vacation, you're doing something with friends, with family, a social, you're celebrating something. You're in a celebratory energy and you're not expecting lover's card, star card. There's something in the moment of getting away and freeing yourself and giving yourself a break that boom, boom, you meet someone that's destined. Maybe you meet someone that gives you your dream job. Maybe you meet someone that romantically, if this is like about love for you, that is like, hey, there's a spark here. We were meant to meet for some reason, right? Beautiful, ah, divine feminine, okay. Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here crossing Aries? Two of cups, they said that's it. Um, so yeah, for some of you, this is about a full on connection. A connection could be a, it's a soulmate connection. Two of cups is two people, okay? So that could be a best friend. It could be a lover, partner, parent, child for some. But this is totally like you kind of holding out for the best. Okay, why is the four of cups? And that could be the thing like for some of you in love and relationships, I'm already picking like in the recent past, you might've released and let go of a person, okay? Something that wasn't serving you. And you're like, yeah, I'm off alone. And I'm kind of thinking about the past. I know something's around the corner. There is an ace of cups and four of cups, you know what I mean? But yeah, for some of you, you've uh, separated yourself and that's what I feel too. Like you've ended something or you let go of something, you surrendered. And then you've got like some friends, some compadres that are like, hey, Aries, like, let's go to this little thing this weekend. Let's go to this little thing. And you're like, Ugh, I don't really want to, like, I just want to stay in bed or like, I don't really know. I've got to work or no, like, you're just kind of like, whatever this is, you're not like, you'll, you're going to go, but you're like, not thrilled about it for some reason. But then when you get there, you're like, oh my God, like, of course I was meant to come here. <laughs> Anyways, um, why is the Four of Cups here? Hermit. Uh, some of you are dealing with a Virgo. Judgment. Why is the Four of Cups here? Strength, justice. Damn, four major arcanas. This is intense. Intense with the Five of Pentacles here. Yeah, some of you in the recent past, just like I said, whether you've left a friend or, 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 or room, like you and a friend aren't talking or something like that for a while, or you and a partner romantically. Yeah. There's some space There's some distance. There's been a decision made or will be a, a decision will have been made. Um, and that with the tie to the justice card, this is what's best and what's fair and what's right for you. You may not, again, you may not love that idea or that decision emotionally speaking, but you're about to get your wish and you don't even know it. You don't even see it coming. You've had to literally sacrifice something so that spirit can see that you're ready for something else. Yes. Let's see what that was. What was this 10 of swords for Aries? You had to let go of a divine masculine for some of you, your emperor. Yeah. Why is this 10 of swords in the recent past? Um, that also is you, but that also is, can be boss energy, temperance, Sagittarius energy. Like some of you might've left, like, I can't be, I can't work here anymore. <laughs> some of you were the boss, the leader, the, the manager, the CEO of something. And you're like, no. So you're like, you can have that responsibility. I'm going to go back to the no responsibility over here. That's not going to be for everyone. Um, why is this 10 of swords in the recent past for Aries? 
Six of Wands. It felt good at the time, but it doesn't feel good anymore. It was two Knight of Wands this year. It was two whatever this is, person, job, family member, whatever. It was they or it was too inconsistent. Knight of Wands is it was too in and out of your life. You're like, this is not stable. Oh, and that's why I was thinking, and I was literally, and like, because I, I have a lot of Aries in my chart too, y'all. I'm, I'm a lot of water, but I have a lot, a lot of Aries in my chart as well. Um, but anyways, Aries, the Knight of Cups versus literally, I'm sorry, the Knight of Pentacles versus the Knight of Wands were the two Knights that I was like comparing in my mind, and I have no idea why. And now I understand why. You don't want inconsistent. You love the bravery of the Knight of Wands. You love like, someone excites you or it can be fun and spontaneous but you're realizing in your crown which is what we're about to clarify there's something about this that wasn't very stable why is the knight of pentacles here for aries yep we have the six of pentacles and the four of wands in a connection something was out of balance okay why is the knight of pentacles here in your crowning energy <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm having some bad allergies today if I'm like a little raspy. Yeah, five of pentacles, king of cups. Um, you're, you're, you're like, you're really bravely going about this alone is how you feel about it. Even if you have support of friends or family and you're like removing yourself from another person or from whatever, a job or situation, um, you were committed to it. You were happy to be involved in it but you feel like it's not going to last forever. You're something about this now that you're like, there's like an internal emotional deep knowing that five of pentacles are like, this is not going to last me for the long haul anymore is what I'm picking up. A lot of you also Aries, there is some kind of other message here where a lot of you are feeling really, really lonely um very emotional and very lonely. Even like if you're in a marriage and have kids and have like the biggest fulfilling life ever there's there isn't another message here for for a lot of you very specifically Aries that you're feeling really lonely like abandoned from family abandonment abandonment big time I'm not a part of that kind of energy I'm not a part of that very uninvited guest energy um what is that Eris 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 is a goddess in Aries She's the, and I'm not an astrologer at all. I do check in with a lot of astrology just so we're like all on the same page. But, um, Eris, yeah, some of y'all need to look that up. There's like some kind of energy of healing the Eris energy, the uninvited guest. When you're not included, when you're not invited, how to king of cups over five of pentacles, how to emotionally check your emotions when you feel abandoned, when you feel, I wasn't a part of that, I wasn't invited. I get it. I get it, y'all. I get that vibe for sure. But there are a lot of you are healing that energy right now because they're sh sh saying temperance. For some of you in the past that you've let go of abandonment or that lonely type of energy altogether. Bravo, congratulations. That is a lot of individual self-care inner child therapy work right there for those of you that are doing that go you all right let's look at your chariot why are you on the move in the near future Woo, devil capricorn for some three of pentacles why is the chariot here for aries Yeah, page of pen or I'm sorry, page of cups. There is gonna be ten of pentacles, um, a new chance to build. If y'all been watching my channel for a while, this is the perfect setup. If you've watched me for a at any time in the past and you've seen the three of pentacles come out with the ten of pentacles, the three of pentacles to me as a reader is the start, is the building mind, body, spirit, you, someone, and spirit getting to the Ten of Pentacles, getting to what I call the everything card. And it's all coming with a new start, fresh start, Page of Cups. Um, a flirt, um, a, a love offer, it's, it, it's coming, it's coming. And also tied to the devil energy, I feel like, um, I feel like you're really mastering your emotions. It's like they came out in two different waves, the devil and then the Three of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. The devil over the 
chariot is again, you've mastered the chariot. You're able to move forward now because you've mastered something in regards to your emotions. And for a lot of you, it's exactly what I just talked about. Working on abandonment issues, um, lonely, that kind of thing. Again, even if you're not physically alone or that kind of thing, sometimes you can really feel that way. So what have we done? You've done something to nurture that and to love yourself even more, okay? You've taken your power back. You've taken control and power back in your situation here. Beautiful. Why is the full, uh, yeah, why is the full card here for Aries? Yoo-hoo! Ten of Cups. I'm sorry, Ten of Pentacles. Yes. You are. See, that's what I said. You're going to take the risk. You're going to do it. You're going to take that leap of faith. Ba boom and it's going to lead towards a connection that has something to do with like i don't know this is like family money abundance this is the everything card to me okay that's where this leap of faith that your that your power is of what you're just feeling like i just need to like do that do it do it and i never am here to tell you what to do i'm just here to give you your your read your energy Except for today, I'm going to say, Aries, go ahead and take that leap of faith because it's only landing in the Ten of Pentacles, which is what is uh, what you're moving towards anyways. You're, you're going to start building with someone soon, um, either in work. You're going to start collaborating, they're saying, with someone um, who's just as on point as you, who's very in this double energy like you. And I mean that in a very good way. That's Capricorn energy, mastery. Not just I'm good at something, Emperor, like I'm great. No, I'm the best at something. Mm -hmm. You and someone are the best at something and you're gonna come together and make a little love child, make a little like what, like a romance here, make a life for yourself. It could be you and a business situation, like you met the, like the work partner of your dreams. This is great, I love this reading. What's this eight of wands for Aries? This is what's hidden from you. Why is this Eight of Wands here? Okay, we have the Ten of Wands. We have the Hangman. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. So yeah, you're connecting with the Ace of Cups. Yeah, you're connecting with someone who's gone through like a, like a <clears throat> who, who, someone's been in a very similar situation like you. So for example, like you might be meeting a friend, a business partner, for example, who y'all both might have like been working for big companies or something like that. You've been working for someone else because Nine of Pentacles is like very entrepreneur energy. And it's like, hey, on this little trip or something, you meet someone that's like, hey, we're kind of the same. We kind of both have, we're in the same field. You want to quit your job? I'll quit my job and let's start our own business. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, it's just gonna make us the richest we've ever been, 10 of Pentacles, all of the money in the whole world in tarot. Like, you know what I mean? If this isn't a relationship type of situation, love relationship kind of thing, this is, this is you're connecting with someone who's also broken away at some point in their recent past from something very heavy, a heavy relationship, a very heavy toxic karmic connection, right? Lots of hard lessons right? And they've been kind of stuck on that for a while, right? So I do feel like whatever the, however this is aligning for you, you're literally connecting and, and aligning with someone very similar to you. Okay, let's look at the moon card here. Why is the moon card here for Aries? Seven of Wands. Why is the moon here for Aries? Um, Knight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Um, it's like you'll be you'll be like real pushy and like kind of speak your truth and kind of my Mercury is in Aries. Like when I get really intense and talk like that, like some people are like, oh my God, Jacqueline, you're so intense. I'm like, my Mercury is in Aries. I talk like an Aries. I talk can be like a leader, but sometimes I can be very, ah, you know what I mean? But I'm picking that up for you guys as you can come across that way as like, listen up, da, 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 da. 
or you cannot. Like there's this energy of like, you're hoping you don't have to get in that energy or have to use that voice. Like I'm getting that like mom tone. Like I don't wanna get my mom tone on you guys. Like that, that's what you're saying to someone else. But I will if I have to. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're, you don't want to have to say this, but you will if you have to. Is what I'm picking up on. Let's clarify the outcome together. Another seven. You had the seven of swords, the seven of pentacles, and now the seven of cups. Seven, seven, seven. Ace of pentacles. Beautiful. One more. The sun. I mean, that is absolutely beautiful and amazing. Bottom of the deck with the queen of pentacles. You know your worth, Aries. You know that you were worth it. You were worth the wait. They were worth the wait. This whole situation. Um, it, 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 this all happened the way that it did for a reason. Okay. There Again, the seven of swords and the seven of pentacles is definitely every plan that you've make, made in this situation. You're, you're just as quick to self-doubt it. Imposter syndrome. Clarifying that. Seven of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, the Sun card. If you can just focus on what's good here, if you can just focus on what the real blessing is, what really is working for you, keep going with that because that's literally going to turn into everything here. There may be a lot of other confusing and almost distracting other energies involved in this situation, but if you really keep your eye on the prize, Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles let me break this down one more time to make this extremely clear. The Ace of Pentacles starts the pinnacle, all of the pinnacles in the tarot, right? This is a blessing from the universe, okay? You're taking it. Someone's matching you with the Nine of Pentacles and your, your leap of faith is ending in the Ten of Pentacles. Take that risk. Take that chance. Or don't. I mean, it's up to you. Um, but again, world card... Out with the old, in with the new, for sure. This is a, a new you. This is a new life for a lot of you. Completely a new life. Because you're meeting someone that has to do with your destiny. Do not forget the beginning cards here. Lovers, star card. You're meeting, your their spirit is bringing you someone that is, you already have a pre-written soul contract with this person in whatever it is, love, business, whatever, it, this is meant to be for you to see it and be a part of it in the now. And that's extremely important for you to know now. <laughs> All right, Aries, holy, really intense reading today, but I love it. Um, for those of you, again, that wanna do the love reading where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, <clears throat> That reading is the first link in the description box below. So some of you, I'll see you there. For the rest of you, I'll see you in the next general reading. Um, drum roll, please, for um, our pick a card. So the Aries that won the pick a card reading this time is Serena Mariano. Serena Mariano, you are my winner. So Aries, if you want me to pick your card next time, just make sure you are subscribed to this channel and leave your name in the comment section down below. Be subscribed leave your name and that's it. Some of you, I know I've talked about this last time, but I'll say it one more time. So many of you are subscribed and will say something in the comments like, pick me, I wanna be picked for the pick a card, but you didn't leave your name, so I don't know your name. And sometimes in your handle, like whatever your handle, it'll be like star goddess, fairy girl, 3669. I don't know, that's cute, that's fine, that's great but I'm not gonna write that on a card, okay? I need your name, also spiritually, I need, I need your name to connect with as well. That's why I need your name, I just wanna explain that. So don't forget to give me your name. Um, all right, that's it. I'll see you next time. Uh, this is for Serena Mariano. We've got two more. Serena, thank you so much for being a subscriber. What are the best and highest messages that we have at this time for Serena? Yeah, go to each. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords, Serena, at the bottom of the deck. You could be connecting with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius.
Something's telling you to leave something. <clears throat> You're getting signs from, you have a lot of animal, uh, Serena, you have a lot of uh, animal spirit guides, birds, bats, and butterflies. BBB, birds, bats, butterflies. Bats have some kind of significance to you. It's very specific. You're getting guidance. Your your some of your guides are like are are you know these little butterflies, bats, or birds, and they're trying to tell you something that you need to hear and know so that you can make a decision. Serena, Six of Pentacles. Serena, lovers. This is about a choice. Yeah, it could be a Gemini you're dealing with. Serena, Chariot, Cancer energy. That's also the um, energy we're in now in Cancer season. Serena, lots of major arcanas, girls. This is really intense for you. Uh, temperance, Sagittarius energy. Serena, Nine of Wands. Okay, Seven of Cups. You're feeling really emotionally confused about um, a partnership. A partnership that you've endured for some time. You've wanted to move on several times from this person or partnership. Um, it's been out of balance for some time, even though you've put in everything. You've put in your all. Um, you don't feel like the other side, other party, other person has given it their all. And therefore, the Nine of Wands, you are so exhausted. You're, you're, uh, I'm hearing your tore up from the floor up. I don't know. Did you say that? I think that's like a, a saying. Um, I don't know. That's what I'm hearing for you. And this uh, temperance here is like, I feel like you've been trying, like trying to hang in there, trying to endure, trying to balance, trying to be the glue in some type of partnership here. Okay, Seven of Cups, bottom of the deck. With the Seven of Pentacles here. Yeah, you, you're really not sure. I feel like if you can trust this person, um, there's definitely some trust issues with this person or in this situation. Um, you're not sure if you can trust them. Let's look at your Six of Pentacles for Serena. King of Cups. Emperor, that's you. And we have the Nine of Cups with the Death card. Okay, so I do feel like there is, because this, this has been a, a happy connection, um, but I kind of feel like one of the two of you, probably you, was maybe like the breadwinner, or like one person um, was definitely more, had more authority than the other person. You're very skeptical of whoever this is. I keep picking that up big time. You're like, there's like a heavy side eye. Like, do I trust them? What's the lover's card here for Serena? Yeah, Queen of Cups with the Ace of Wands. This is a potential for a new relationship or, or, or something like that. Yeah, moon card. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. or happening now. Strength card. Yeah, it's a new beginning with someone that could lead towards a relationship. It's a heavy, heavy emotional connection. Um, why is the chariot here for Serena? Page of Wands. Star card. This is meant to be. This is definitely destined. Oh my God. With the Wheel of Fortune and the star together. And, oh my God, the tower, you're, again, not going to see this coming. You're not, you're, you don't understand, like. It's like when you're in the middle of doing something like healing, or I feel like, I don't know, when you're on the way to like a doctor's appointment. I don't know if you have a kid, like I see you taking your kid or your dog into like the vet or the or like the doctor checkup or something when you're on the move and something about like, or maybe going to like a therapy session or going to a somewhere you meet someone. 
and it was meant to be, it was written in the stars. There's double confirmation, the chariot and the star together. There's two stars on that. Like there, it's double confirmation for me. Tied to the wheel of fortune is it's divine timing, divine timing, divine timing, divine timing. And temperance is also about timing as well. This is coming into play now for you. Why is temperance here for Serena? Two of swords, two of wands. You've been thinking about this for a while. And that's what you've been, that's why the, the butterflies and bats and, and all that, that's what you maybe haven't been able to see. And, and spirit has been trying to give you these signs here. Ten of swords is the sign. Why is the nine of wands here for Serena? Hangman, queen of pentacles, page of pentacles, ace of pentacles, um, and then we have the magician at the bottom of the deck. I, I feel like someone wants to be back in your good graces. Someone wants to apologize um, and give you another chance or they want, I'm sorry, they want you to give them another chance on something. Um, you're going to think about it. You're going to take your really your sweet time or not. You're going to be like, mm, I'm going to have to think about it. I'm going to sleep on it. Um, there is a new there's an opportunity for a new beginning here. But you, again, I don't feel like you feel very thrilled about it, okay? Um, you are, again, the main thing for you is please pay attention to the signs that Spirit is giving you. It's coming through in colors, insects, numbers, in any different way, signs. Um, it can be a conversation that you overhear from someone and like the little snippets of a conversation. Those snippets are for you to hear. And you're like, I don't know why I heard that. Why does it make sense to me? Because you're supposed to hear those things. Okay, because you have a big decision about how you're going to, what course of action you're going to take here. You are very suspicious and have trust issues with this person that could be stemming from something different. Actually, from both parties is what, uh, from both sides of you, um, or both parties are having that same feeling. But yeah, I, I feel like for you, there's like a huge call for you to want to break off from something and do something on your own. And then just as soon as you do, it's like this person's like, wait, like, don't leave um, that kind of energy. And you're just like, oh, all right, I'll give it one more, one more try or one more go round. You know, like that's what I'm picking up here. But um, anyways, that's what I have for you, Serena. If there's anyone else still here, I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye.